one it says, uh, now, instead of looking at 6, they're asking us to do, what, 3 and 3 and 9? Yeah. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll just label 3 and 9. All right, and what I want you guys to notice, we still have the same transversal, but now we're only dealing with our angle relationships that are on each of these lines. So therefore, Carly, what I'll do is I'm just going to eliminate that middle intersection just so I can focus on the angles that are created by those two lines. All right, and just focus on what is happening between those two lines. So when you're looking on your own book, what you'll notice is we can determine that these are interior, these are exterior. So number three, angle three and nine, are those are going to be interior, alternating or consecutive angles? Alternating. alternating. Angle 3 and angle 9 are alternate, interior angles. Okay? Nick, you can just close your book because she needs to do that on her own. <laughs>